Generic greetings and welcome to Chambers of Devious Design, today's beverages. A very nice and indeed quite chilled banana and vanilla milkshake, very nice indeed. So welcome to Chambers of Devious Design, this is billed as a turn-based tactical base building game. It's also pushing a lot of buttons when it comes to a puzzle slash board game element as well. And in fact I'm fairly confident I've played a board game similar to this one, but I digress. Either way, as I said, this is a game where you will be placing tiles, building a base and fighting opponents because although there is a narrative, this guy on the left wants a lot of bases or a holiday home or whatever they want these people just need up. <laughs> the uh, yeah you're also playing against other characters which have different abilities and you're fighting for space essentially um, this is not a sponsored video but I was sent the key by the developer and I've played for about two hours thus far that contains the tutorial custom games and the first eighth of the campaign so first impressions only but enough to get the base of the uh, game down let's go to custom game and I'll show you a little bit of what it has to offer so I'm going to remove all of these, so we're going to have a easy AI with score limit of 30. This will hopefully, you know, make sense when we're actually in the game and start game. So, a quick rundown here. Um, essentially, we have an objective, and the objective at this stage is to score 30 points. There are bonus goals as well, and you get... Uh, you get some reward for doing that, but basically the way the game works is we have a starting character We are Emilio and We have to build from an area So we're actually building from this area This is our starter room and each room obviously has a certain size So this is quite a small room with loads of doors on the outside. That's what these little uh, nodules are and it also has a, a cost so it's basically worth five it also has five health for lack of a better term and uh, yeah once you have completed it which is com put all the doors or connected up all the doors like for example if I was to put like this one there and then another one there it would basically become complete you get the completion bonus you get the points for placing it and you also gain a certain adjacency bonus as well but let's crack on with actual building so it is an I go, you go system, so we take a turn, they take a turn, back and forward until someone reaches over 30 points. You get a one turn grace period, and then you go from there. So I'm going to place probably this one because it is worth five, and you can see we sort of get a highlight of where it will go. The problem with doing that is obviously we are going to then seal off this room, but I don't particularly care. So we gain five points for placing this thing. We're under 10 points, they've placed that, and now it's back to us. So I'm going to go for maybe this one, and I can place this in again pretty much wherever I like, although if I did that there, there's no chance of me ever completing the other bit, so that will be fine. Obviously, I'm heading towards those, which could potentially be an issue. Um, I'm going to go for perhaps maybe a connection there. We can't go there. We can go there, but means connecting on the right-hand side would be very problematic. That is not too bad. But you know what? That is a bit better. So what happens is once you've used one, two, three, four, five of the tiles, it'll shuffle the rest of it, and then you go back to uh, back to placing the tiles. Um, each tile as well has a type, so utility, kitchen, economy, hallway. They do have names as well. So yeah, self-destruct chamber, an extinct animal meat storage. <laughs> Stockpile of ancient artifacts, secret passage, and then a cannon chamber, which is a sabotage building. So if I place that there, the cannon's going to fire and start damaging these. So it's going to do one damage. This will be removed. So this will go down to three, then two, then one. Then if it goes to zero, it's destroyed. So yeah, that can be potentially a bit of an issue. Anyway, over to, once again, connections. If I place something in there, oh, that, that looks like it's going to sit nice, but we're not playing Tetris. We have to keep re reminding ourselves that that is not the case. Um, we will get the completion effect, which is to choose a perk. So that might be uh, of some benefit later on. I think, however, for the sake of building, I'm going to I'm gonna place this to show you what it's like. Now, this might actually hit my own buildings. So I place it, and we get a perk. So we have um, either increased magic room cost, uh, or score, increased sabotage, or increased mischief. I'm going to go with sabotage, because we've got one of those, and to show you that one there. So the cannon's going to fire down there, fire over there, and then fire down there, and destroy <laughs> typically one of our own buildings but it does demonstrate a couple of things firstly it is semi random where well, it's random where it fires when it hits something it does remove like say the the score slash health of that room which is reducing theirs and also when a building is destroyed like that it does remove the 
entranceway so that's like blocked up so we can no longer build on that side so building down here is going to be a bit of a problem for me we are going to have a bit of an issue there i could seal off this room but it doesn't have a completion bonus just a placement effect so there's actually no mechanic mechanical advantage for doing that um i do however want to maybe build maybe build down here perhaps and the way to do that is to start to open up like another way down. That would seal off quite a huge chunk. But the reason I'm placing this one is because it's a, a score of four. I think I will place it there and see how we get on. They're now going to place that one. That's going to give them the completion bonus back to us. We have... Um, ah, this one here. It's, it's a economy type of building. It's a stockpile of ancient artifacts. But... Plus one score for each neighbour type of kitchen, so we do have a kitchen there. When it says neighbour, it doesn't mean you have to connect it up like that. It means as long as it's, like, say, like this, because it shares a border. So, it's fundamental to understand that. Oh, hang on. Plus one damage dealt. Self-destruct chamber. <laughs> uh, right, where are we at? We could place another cannon. Um, that is That is an option, but... We're on 23 points and they're on 17. I reckon if we just keep going as we are, we might be able to get a nice win off this one. So we want to have maybe this in there. Can't place it there because it would it would pass the bounding box. Oh, we'll do that and we'll get this effect, which is next room effect will activate an extra time. We're on 26 points there on 20. The games can be quite fast-paced. Obviously, it just depends on... What you're playing and how you're doing it. Uh, that's going to go in there. That'll give us... Choose a perk. Which should activate twice then. So choose a perk. Extra economy. That's going to put us on 30. That's the victory condition. Then it's going to activate again. So we're on that one there. So we're on... 32 points there and 21. They have a one turn grace period to try and win. Obviously it's not worked out for them. So there we go. Emilio won main menu. So that is the basics of the game. Let's try that again. But with AI players on normal difficulty. Uh, you can invite uh, friends. Steam friends. I've not tried it. And you can randomise. And there's also like mutators here. These are the special rules. Glaring emission. Where's the default button? <laughs> I click randomise. Right, how do I go back to default? Oh, I'll tell you how to go. Uh, like this. Uh, and you have to manually go through it all. Um, unless I'm missing that button. Yeah. But, that's it. And... The map type is no boundaries, small, medium, large. Let's go for a medium map. And... Start the game. Okay. So, objective is to reach 60 points. We've been assigned a random character. So, let's see. We can build... I mean, that's a nice building. Already five points as well. And I want to probably build closer to who's next actually when i'm mousing over it also is highlighting these i don't know if you can see placing that like that maybe no 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 yes that one so getting close to this is going to limit their options but i don't want to get too aggressive because obviously they can start biting back and Connect up mischief rooms, we get bonuses, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do that. Because I'm gonna seal that door off there. <laughs> and already we're sort of in a very aggressive pace and tone here. Scores are about even. Don't wanna place that there. That can go in there. Almost got a completion on this room as well. Not seeing any sabotage rooms come out yet. I'm sure that'll happen, unless the mute mutator's on. We're on 15 points. Uh, goals are place four magic rooms, four sabotage, two mischief. Mm. That's entertainment. That's a starter. I mean, ideally, I just want to seal this off and then get that completion bonus. Because it'll increase the score of its neighbours. So this one, this one, this one, this one, and the one that goes there. So I want to place that in before something naughty happens. Uh, <laughs> well, I could place it there. I'll never seal. I'll never complete this room. But it means I complete that one, and we've massively scuppered where they can 
place things. I should point out if they're unable to place something, they can skip a turn. But if they skip a turn again, game over. Oh, there's the cannon. So it's going to laser. Oh, it's a, it's a laser, not a cannon. It just lasered that room and the connection's no longer there. Okay. Um, we could fire back, but that'll probably hit us. Uh, <laughs> we're still high on points, so that's okay. We probably want to try and seal this off to gain the completion bonus, which is going to give us a perk. However, nothing at this stage is going to allow us to do that, I don't think. No. Hmm. Do I want a cannon? I mean, the answer is yes. Always want a cannon. But would it would it benefit us at this stage? I'm not convinced. I'm going to place that there, though. And now they're just going to start. Yeah, they place the cannon at the back. It's just going to fire around the back. <laughs> Fair enough. We're tied on first position. But they've just got an extra turn. Okay, back to us. If we connect up food rooms, we do gain a bonus. Mm, that would work. 24 points. We've not got any abilities, actually. You've got perks, which we've seen previously, but there's abilities you can get, like um, cause damage or increase points value activator area, etc. Oh, that's a naughty building. That's a dynamite storage. So when you place it, like that, any adjacent, it blows up in any adjacent rooms, it destroys. I want to get maybe. Can I get both of these activated? Definitely not. Oh, look at that, that's really good. It's only one point though. Plus one to one maintenance, they're entertained with buildings. Plus three for any. Any maintenance. Hmm. Get that in. Playing the long game because we got a maintenance building. It's plus three points. Oh, there's some destruction. Couldn't have happened to Eddie. The nicer Eddie. We're still top, but it's close. Close game. Good back and forward. Um, that's magic and that's utility. Oh, utility. Yes, we need to place utility. Um, don't think it really matters where it goes. There we go. And we just need to seal it off there. And that'll be good points. Halfway there to the end of the game. Just worried about potentially sabotage tiles. Oh, does that fit in? No, it doesn't. Just just not. That's a shame. Um, I might just have to forget. Oh, I can put it there though. Choose a perk. We've got... <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> We've got none of those buildings. Um, I'll go with magic because we have a bonus to that, and then it happens again. And perk of uh, corridor. It's up to thirty-four points. I haven't really mentioned anything about the sound or music, graphics, etc. Yep, just works. Nice, colourful tiles. There are symbols, so although, as far as I can tell. No colorblind options, or very little accessibility ones. At least, hopefully, the symbols rather than the colors are identifiable. But I don't really have uh, much authority to speak on that one. Um, maybe if we put that... Let's get this one completed. Maybe... No. Definitely not. I think probably that one was the way to go. Mm, oh no, because we can't connect up those two. Probably just that one. Maybe. Or to place that there. No, no, we'll get that done. Because we get a perk. Oh! That's good. Lots more points. Bonus goal completed. Which was... Get four score if you place... I think it's a couple of mischief rooms. So it's still close, still top, but only just. I do have the ability to place one of these. I don't think there's anywhere that can go. No, okay. Um, 
Random completion is to get a get a bonus. Struggling a bit now for placements. That would just seal that off, would never be able to get that done. Very tempted just to start building over over there. Plus one for every hallway. Well these are all entertainment. Or utility. There's a hallway there. So if yeah, if it, if it could go in there we get a bonus, but it's nothing really to speak of. Um I guess we'll have to place that. Increase room score by three, deal two damage to the enemy room, plus one to all neighbours. The neighbours will be these two. So that would be just two points. Uh, the closest enemy tile would probably be that one. I think the others are immune to damage. Increase the score by three. We're on 45 points. Oh, that's a good score then. 41. Perfect tile placement. Oh, darn it. Okay. So, they didn't destroy the room, but they did bring it down to one one score, which means, yeah, that could that could explode very easily if they hit it once more. And obviously our points have gone down as well. Um, okay. Ah, this one might be good. We get plus one for every entertainment room. Mm, but it's not going to fit anywhere, is it? No. No, it is not. That would be good because it would be five points plus the placement. It's just not going to go in anywhere. That's crying shame. Okay. And I can't seal this one off. Cannon won't fit in anywhere there. I'm concerned really that Cause more damage over this side. Don't think placing that there would be worthy. Mm. I'm just going to seal that off. Because then if we can seal the other two off, then we'll be alright. Maybe we should have just placed some of that to get more points. Still plenty of time. And they've placed a cannon in there. Won't shoot us. But I think. We're best off going for. Again, seal stuff off. Try and seal this room off just to get the extra stuff. Oh, now now this is where we start getting Yeah, some damage going. That's firing twice. Eddie is the one that is basically the contender here. Oh! Another building destroyed there. So we're... We're joint third. Can't seal that off. Magic room. We don't have a magic room. Two points. You know what? Seal this off. Get a bonus. Gain a random special ability. Activate a randomly friendly neighbor. Effect. Pick a random perk. Gain a random special ability. Let's do it. Which is... Next three rooms you place get an extra score. Oh, that's pretty good. But I think the game's going to be over before I get to use that. Because we're on 44 and the next the next highest is 50. Well, 51's top. 51, 44 and then join 41. Now we're at 45. So I'll activate that ability. And, well, I could. No, I can't really do any sabotage there. Can sabotage come back at me? Not that I can see. And once again, there's no, like, double tiles that we can place. Let's place that there, just for the four points. I think some of these guys are going to be stuck for... placement, to be honest. Yeah, Eddie can, Eddie can build only a little bit, so they might have 
box themselves in too much. Oh, typical. The tile I really wanted to go there. Uh, yeah, can't place it now. Okay. The advantage is I think we can. Yeah, we can get that there to get that, which is get a perk. Mm. Next up, the room gets more points value. What do I want? Can't we place that in there? That would fit in there. But it's just dodgy. Those won't. No, let's go with that. Oh! Additional score for every ten building. We've got five. So that's... Oh, that's put us as a contender. We're on 59. We might be able to win. We might be able to win. Uh, is it back to us? It is back to us. So, what's the best course of action? We can place this. Yeah, we actually are a bit stuck, really. I can place one of these. That'll just give us two score, which will tick to the end game. The other option is seal that off, and the seal off bonus is choose a perk. That's the way to do it, because we then will get, there's win conditions met, grace period of one turn for everybody else. Hang on. Oh, I haven't sealed it off. There's a small door there. I didn't realise. Ah, oh, darn it. I'm hopeful that we'll get the win, but no. They've just shot that. So I wonder if, if it takes us underneath. That's it. You have to continue playing. Perhaps. Perhaps that is the case. And genuinely, can I actually place any more tiles? I can. It's not ideal. Um, that's the only tile I can place, right? No, I can place that one. It's only one point. I need the points. I need the points. So yes, can confirm if you go under them conditions, it <laughs> it stops the the countdown. Oh, there's the pass. So they can't build anymore, and they can't build anymore. Vivian can, but they're on 53 points. I'm not really concerned. There you go. We've won. Total score 61. Job done. Close, though. Very close game. Okay, that is Chambers of Devious Design. I think it's a fair example of the game and fairly representative of what you can experience. The campaign is similar, but will obviously introduce different elements, uh, have different ways of winning, whether it be from scores or turns, etc. Uh, obviously the difficulty and improve, different characters. A couple of things of note. Would be nice to have an encyclopedia of the rules. That doesn't seem to be included. There's a tutorial and it's basic and tells you what you need to know, but just in the middle of things, it would be nice to quickly look up. Um, in custom games, yeah, default <laughs> button would be nice. Um, other than that, I can't think of anything else major, and those are only, I guess those are minor things anyway, it just would be an improvement. Also, it would be nice as well to have the option to undo one turn. I think that would be, not by default, because I understand that the whole idea is to think very carefully, methodically, place that tile and it moves on to the opponent's turn, but certainly for uh, as an option to undo at least one turn, will be more forgiving for a person who's just starting out with the game or just someone who wants a bit more of a chill experience just to roll it back. That, I think, would benefit it. But that's in done. Maybe not in the developer's uh, uh, vision. So there you go. That is my take on it. James of Davis Design. Very much enjoying. Uh, it's a uh, pick up and put down one. Custom games, easy to jump in, quite simple, fast if need be. Can also put it to a stupidly long game with a 300 score limit, which, as you might imagine, yeah, would be quite long. Campaign, I'm not too bothered about the story, not really interesting me. Uh, just be skipping to the actual puzzle bits, but enjoying it, and I like to see the different characters and elements. So, yeah, overall, enjoying it. So, if you want to check it out, by all means, check the link out in the description, I'll put that in there. It's not a sponsored video, but I was sent the key, so please bear that in mind. As always, if you have enjoyed the video, thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.